my biggest thing in this one was, uh, you'll see what mm -hmm. happens. He decides to go trade. And mm -hmm. I'm like, I've never seen someone do that in solos before. So I'm like, okay, well, he had spears on both sides. So I initially sent my knights, and my knights kept getting hit by the spears, right? So I should have just microed them better. But I think I kind of just freaked out, and I started building archers to counter him. But then he had horses. So I guess I kind of would have, looking back, I would have maybe masked up an army before I pushed forward. But I kind of wanted to get your perspective on what you think. Okay. No problem, no problem. Let me let me invite the friends. To oh. Okay. Big Rich. Yeah, Rus is very good now at the moment. So Especially on high views, like you ta you you like naturally have scouts and Against trade, normally with uh, other civs with like no knights, I would say you have to go horsemen to counter trade. With roots, that's a little complicated because you you have your own knights, so it's kind of tempted to go knights. So, but anyway, you need and you need some sort of calf to like you need the mobility to counter any sort of trade anyway. So. Doing stables, nothing wrong. But Roos is not like French. French, if they see you, your opponents going trade, they could actually go their own, their own trade themselves. <laughs> because French trade is, yeah, 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 good at the moment. Not Roos. Roos has no trade bonus. So I think you. Oh yeah, you you scouted this one. Yep, you scouted this one. Uh, okay, now you see the traders coming out. I sent those at them, but he had spearmen by the time I even got there, I think. Yeah, yeah fast one. If you run straight here, can you actually... Maybe. Maybe. If you run straight here, then you might actually catch some. Oh! They don't have... Um, Really? You only do six? Okay. So... Well, at least you, like, you kind of cut off his first payoff, right? He didn't get his payoff here. So that's, I would say, fine. I have a knight coming on the other side, but... Here. That this time he has spears, so... Mm-hmm. Behind this, I was going to TC. Ah... Uh... You wanna yeah, go I to TC? I don't think you wanna go to TC here because if he's going trade, you wanna like mess up the trade yeah. as fast as you can before you go at any TC. Now he got the bounty, right? Now he got the got the now yeah, yeah, got he the got the trade. Market. He yeah. got the other market as well. Once you have seen the, he got the other market as well. I would say the two TC is just too greedy against trade. When when yeah when I when I'm playing like any trade, I love when I my opponents go to TC because I could like either hammer on trade or I could get my own to TC like any sort of thing instead there I should have just maybe built some archery ranges and went full pressure right yeah just full pressure until you cut off the trade and then boom yourself yeah I think I got mm -hmm. I think I got greedy trying to uh because in my head I was like oh now he's going trade I should boom behind this but as I sent my uh my archers across, I think he mm -hmm. scouted it, and that's when he had his horse. The problem with TCs is that a trade boom, unpunished, it's more powerful than any TC you could like put off. Yeah. So you have to like, do something to like cut it. I saw, I saw people were like, uh, invest a villager. Like that's actually a, a, a good idea if you, like, like in, just invest like one villager when you have the knight, and then wall it off. Oh yeah, and uh, or or even like archers, like like you could push like knight archer, and then again one villager wall it off. As long as you wall off the trade, you wall off the trade first, and and then you go your second TC. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's how. Uh, yeah, the last time I yeah, the last time I play as Abbasid, where I go trade wing, the Rus guy went knight archer straight, 
into the market and then send a villager straight again and then he build a tower there in the oh yeah that's on, nice yeah on the on the on the landmark mark uh yeah yeah on the on the neutral trade post so that's how you that's how you punish it anyway yeah and now he just have more i guess yeah and that was my issue too is i think i kind of sent them one by one instead of like getting a good solid group before i sent more um i guess in the here's, middle here's... Again, it's the middle, yes, but like in the early in the early stages when you have like two or three knights, you wanna you wanna go in straight away, especially when you wanna like try to cut off his first payoff, because once the first payoff goes through, it kind of just swings in there. I think here I just didn't scout that one off. I didn't realize he had so much as well horses. Yeah, just. Try and micro micro your way out. <laughs> There's nothing you can do except yeah, yeah. I, mean, I, I would say like I'm if yeah if I'm the Abbasid guy, I'll be like very comfortable now. I'm like very comfortable. Like this is walled. I think this would be walled. Yeah, you try to like punish, but like he had like two spears here just to like protect, and then he will like quickly wall this in. Yeah, so. And at this point, I kind of knew, uh, like, like I have so much food, I was like, okay, well, should I just go H three or should I keep pressuring? And I think that's kind of where I was um, mm -hmm. thrown off. I would say at this at this moment on when when it's like this level diamond and like well like diamond level there's no way that he could lose this. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's just too much. The trade is popping off. Two yeah, two markets. I think there are like more markets here, like two or three. Oh, he didn't build any markets here. That's weird though. He should have built yeah. like two or three markets here, and that would be like bigger payoffs. Like his army is just, and and yeah, I'll, I'll play the same thing as him. Like if you don't age up, then I won't age up. I'll just m make bigger and bigger army, and then when you age up, I age up That's for. Such a big army. Yeah, yeah, I'll age up for, uh, after you, and I'll still be fine because I have such a great lead. So, so how would you, like at the beginning, you would have gone full feudal. Full feudal. Uh, stable you archer. Go to, to go back, like, and convert? Sorry? Or do you just make it a full feudal fight? Uh, I would... I would make sure that I wall the, the, the markets. And yeah. then, and then I'll turn it into... I'll, I, um, and then it's just a, a, a pick and choose. Like, you, you could, like, push in. I, myself, I would go to second TC. But ma making sure that I have, like, all the markets walled in again that he can trade and then and then boom okay. yeah. but like yeah should be knight archer should be good so it's not yeah it's just not unit choice it's just the second tc as i said like i when i'm where well, i i tried not really i tried even before the trade buff for for french i used trade against uh english when they go straight double tc yeah like i just i i i don't even go i don't go chamber of commerce i still go like uh the school of cavalry but then when i see second tc i'll stop unit i'll, I'll stop like military production mm -hmm. i'll slow down my unit production and then start my trade and then it just booms up because yeah. because there's no way you could like stop the trade when you are doing second TC. There's no way. Yeah, I just hadn't seen an Abbasid player go trade yet. It is actually quite popular in in like conk levels. It is actually one of the stronger play. I don't think there's there's like a uh, 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 sp sp like space for eco wings in top level other play. Yeah. I tried it myself and I kind of get like killed. <laughs> And then and then someone and then someone tried a a military wing against me and then he wins. <laughs> like 
the other wings are so strong right now. I don't know what Eco Wing is doing right now. Actually, for opposite. So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So this this is not the problem of, of are you really going castle or not? It's just, it's just the problem of second TC as I said. I absolutely hate hideout because I rarely play Rus and uh, I rarely play Rus. I like French and then French is absolutely garbage on this map while yeah. Rus is like top tier because of all the hunting gardens. The thing so. that I hate on this map, every time I've encountered HRE, mm -hmm. they um Every time I have encountered them so far, they go to TC, and um, I don't know. I just feel like they boom so much harder than me. Hmm. I thought you should be good because you could go fast castle, right, and then take all the relics. Yeah, I know, but he, I can't remember actually what happens in this game. So. Okay. Watch, but... Because like, mm, are you doing the double hunting cabin? No, you're not. Okay, so th uh, there's a thing here. We actually had a had a Rus uh, genius here. Uh, he made I was a build. Going to, but so you're not going for a double hunting cabin. That's what you say. Normally, I would say that I do, but in this scenario, I didn't because I was like, I I don't know why. I just thought it would set me behind, but I should have done it. Hmm. Hmm. Because like, hey Charlie, hey Charlie. If he's going second TC while you're doing fast castle, then you could take all the relics and should be fine, right? Yeah. And then you have crossbows to deal with his uh his uh, rush. If you're not doing if 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 uh he's not doing second TC and you still do the double hunting cabin, then you you'll be reaching castle at the same time. While he's not yeah. booming, so so I would say the double hunting cabin is the default strategy because no matter what he's doing, you will still have some kind of an edge, either like a faster castle taking all the relics, or you could have like a similar castle which you could play along with that, and and he's not like booming, right? Yeah, what I meant. This is actually where I messed up exactly what you said. I meant to go double hunting cabin, and I didn't. So normally when I do, I have enough gold to go castle, mm -hmm. uh, or a fast castle, but in this scenario, like you said, I forgot, and so I didn't have enough gold, so I ended up having to put people on gold. And uh, I also went Kremlin, which maybe I should have gone to High Trade House and I could have had enough, but... No, Kremlin is, Kremlin is fine, you want to protect yourself uh, for the third scenario, which is a surprise feudal attack. You don't want that to happen. So second TC, yeah, you've scouted that. He's pr he's like super protected. There's there's no way like in this map second TC. There's no way like you could have us to go and stop his castle. So you either like go castle yourself or yeah, yeah, and yep, you just and need a bit of gold. Just gold. Yep. If you go hunting double hunting cabin, you should have it already. Yeah. This, yeah, there's, there's no way you put this out like this. Yeah, I just thought I'd send something. <laughs> just run in and then they'll just shoot it and die, yeah. yeah. Or maybe, yeah, idle time, yes, but you lost like 40 food. So he made, he also made double scout. Just to like, I guess for the sheep, yeah, but also like, see if you're getting relics or not. This part's so bad. Um, so because I had a later age up, mm -hmm. to get the relics, he already scouted it, so he just put his spears on them. Like, yeah, that was where I messed up. Hmm, yeah, yeah, yeah. So the whole plan was, I'll rush castle and get the stuff, but I didn't plan it out anything, right? I feel like my wood, I didn't have enough wood to build a... Yeah. Pull this off. Pull this off. I'll I'll literally just pull everything off. You have, I don't know. I don't know how you have so many food. I'll literally just pull everything off into there. Yeah. That's a good idea. Like you you could pull everything off, still riding on food, and you still have enough for 
creating villages. Uh, I guess it's just a lack of plan, as you said. Like in both in both games, you kind of maybe like un like the situation is not what you normally used to, so you kind of doubt your plans. Exactly. That's what you're so kind of stick to a one plan. That's all I could say. Uh, well, for like for, for like uh, situations that is like absolutely new. Oh yeah, it's just too bad. You just stand straight there. For like absolutely new scenario, like trade that kind of stuff. You you yeah. That here is the good place to ask and just find more insight. But like in this kind of scenario, I feel like you you already played a lot of hideout, Roost hideout. Just stick to your plan because it's just absolute meta. Don't need to like doubt it. Yeah. And I think he could still get like this relic. And this relic. Yeah. Too bad. He had monks sitting on him. Yeah. So 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 that's that's that timing kinda like just kills kills your momentum because you can't you can't utilize it. <laughs> so if you were French in this scenario, what would you have done? I I won't play. I won't even play French on this map. Like this, there's, there's nothing to do on this map. Maybe trade. Maybe actually go uh, chamber of commerce trade. Like that. That that's the only French play I could think of. <laughs> that that might work. And and I have to like I have to like bet on him going going second TC and not going horseman. Which is like such a rare thing to do. Uh, what? Mm, yeah, you could like take the relics first. I'll probably take relics first and then shoot the ball and then go down now. I don't know. That, but that, without that second hunting cabin, it really fucks you up so much. Yeah, you're right. And now, now, yeah. Now I was like, all right, I'm behind. He has two TCs. I didn't grab the relics, so I just mm -hmm. decided to go two. TCs. Now, now the one thing though is that you have a mobile army while he's not. So what I would do next: send this to here, send one monk here, just to force him out. Yeah. Because you have a mobile army, and then and then try and roll stuff. Uh, yeah, that's 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 the way to like find edges. Kill, kill the boar as well, and then even though you're not taking them, you kill it, you have 75 yeah. gold, especially this one, you could kill it and take it. Just any any small advantage you could find that could like bring you back into the game. Someone may not advise a second TC, but I'll actually try because I, I want to somehow get back the villager, like, like just to close it off as well, somehow close off the villager gap. So what do you... Like, even if this wasn't hideout, and this was mm -hmm. a normal map, what would you suggest against HRE when they're bunkered in and they have the spring all towers? Just rams and, like, force them out? Force them out. Like, if he's doing this, he's literally forfeiting. Like, the only time where he's contesting the map control is when there's relics. And then now he's just bunker in. So now you're absolutely able to take anything on the map. Like, well, maybe he's here, but, like... Take this, take this, force him out, like, yeah. I could have taken it right there. Yep. What I was trying to do was look around the map to see if he was taking any food resources or gold yep. or anything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But um, then he was just like, yeah. but uh, but then he was just like Arkin, right? Yeah. Yeah. So. so didn't really push in with force archers. So maybe true. Have gone knights. Uh, maybe you could start mixing it knights now. The f the f the first horseman, uh, the first horse archer play is good because. You know that he's going to spearman, so you, you, you uh, so ho horse archers are fine early on. But if you start thinking of like punishing, you want to dive in, then yeah, you want to mix in knights. And now, now in the contrary, he he wanted to raid you with all these things. Yeah. If you take this here now, yeah. then he would have to fight here, I think. 
because his army is here, so he will have to fight you in the sacred site. Well, in in some way or form, you can't. He kind of like get out anyway. Yeah. One thing about horse archers is that you just have to micro everything, <laughs> so you just have to get used to it. Uh, I still uh, that's nothing. Uh, yeah. Just take this. Just take this. I Force know. him up. Yeah, that's so true. Just take this. It kinda Yeah, it took me a long time to learn to take sacred sites even though you're not like monks if just to force like just to force someone out. Can you reveal all real quick? I mean if you took that you still might have a chance. And it gives you gold anyway, right? It gives you gold. You yeah now feel all real quick. Okay. If you look at his base now, like he's just got way too much eco mm -hmm. for me to like keep up, I don't know. Like, mm -hmm. relics and mm hmm Yeah 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 yeah. So like once maybe once I like like grab this and then i as I said I'll still go a second TC just to like keep up the keep up the eco. Even though yes you're uh, you're behind, but I don't want the the eco to like get out of control. So if I if I if I have a second TC, okay, yeah, you have a second TC, so yeah, it's fine. Twenty vils ahead. After all that losses, it's just hard to like come back from yeah. from that situation. It's not like uh, it's not like you're playing even ground. They are like mistakes from the early game that just puts you behind and you just crawling back in it, it it it's the same for two games because there's a major strategic mistake that you made in the early game it just puts you behind and then the whole game you're just finding ways to like crawl back in but yeah you're not but so so yeah the first thing is just to like know the best respawn and then play from an even ground. <laughs> so yeah, I'll just get the second hunting cabin. If you, f and then when you have the map control, take the sacred sites. Just to fall, especially against, especially against English and and Heichari, when they when they like to like bunker in. Uh, in like like in this Discord, we had like. Uh, chats about English when they were like really strong. They were absolutely bonkers uh, for like I don't know a few weeks, and then and then we just we just talk about like well if they're like bunker in then you have the whole map control. If they if they're not contesting that then you just take the sacred and force them out. You just have to because uh, if you if you're not doing that then you have to like fight in their terms, which is like. Just giving their bonuses. Yeah. So yeah. Now he just sends the tree. Now, now he's just like taking over everything and he's just ram you in. He's he he don't even need to go in here, right? No. Yeah, it's just. I think he's 200. No, not yet, but 120. Yeah, he's just like yeah. ram it the thing. He could wait. That's the thing. Like, the whole time. Now he's taking like resources outward. Now he's taking like resources. Yeah. He's never taking those things. And yet, the whole game, you're not killing more. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Just to recap, find, just find little all these little advantage. Hopefully, I'm I'm like giving you these things so that you could in some way or form use that in the next game these are the advantage you want to take you like get used to and then take them when you yeah. have the chance no that's that's stuff i haven't really thought of is just like how important the first part of the game is like just kind of sticking with my plan instead of uh, i don't know fluctuating a bit maybe yeah <laughs> That's uh, like that's why like build orders videos are 
so popular because they could just let you stick to the plan for like the first few minutes of the game. Yes, they don't help in the later stages. They don't they don't teach you anything beyond that. But like just giving you a build order could let you stick to one plan for the first few minutes and that just like boosts your early game so much. Yeah. You don't you don't wanna like you don't wanna like don't know what to do, like doubt yourself in the first few minutes and then just do like random shit. Cool. Is there anything you want me to watch? Or is there anything you want to do? I mean, there's one more, I guess, if you want to. Okay. It's, it's super. Sh it's a super short replay, and it's probably fun because it's Divine DFB. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Uh, is it Big Rich? Yep. Oh, that guy's a legend. That guy's a legend. Which uh, one? It's going to be on Lipany, the first one. The defeat below. Uh, June 8th, at the very bottom. That one I'm looking at. This one? Um, actually, no. actually, the Delhi one was so freaking hard, but this one you can watch, I don't mind. Okay. Ah, uh, Delhi's hard. Like, especially if I play Abbasid and I'm trying to boom. Because oh, they really? go age 3 and they just run in with, uh, with knights. Yeah, I guess so, I guess so. I When I play, maybe I just played Delhi wrong then. And when I play Delhi myself, when I, and when I see Abbasid, I, I kind of lost to like, a few others going like different strategies so even going eco wing i still lost to them but yeah maybe i just played wrong i i, I like feudal delhi that's why but you're oh my god i mean you're playing against the legend himself so <laughs> uh, this guy i still remember him like doing tower rushes in the early <laughs> when the game just came out like doing all game tower rushes and then when Taurus got nerfed, doing all game, uh, what's that called? Doing all game French double TC. It's like crazy, man. It's crazy. Uh, well, what could you do here? Maybe, maybe like military wing. That's your choice. Okay, so you still go eco wing. Problem is that you, you you just have to fight this off before you get your second TC, right? Yeah. That's the problem with eco wings. So put them on. Okay. Yep. And I thought at some point, um, mm -hmm. here I just wanted to make sure I got 75 gold to just be able to get the, um, the upgrade. For the my upgrade. Pieces. Yep. But um, I think I actually could have. This sounds stupid, but I think I actually could have beat him if I hadn't have done what we talked about earlier, where I tried. I was like, well, maybe I'll go. Um, maybe I'll go H3, maybe I won't, whatever. Uh, so I just, I stacked up resources. Like, I always have too much food. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Pick one strat and do it. Uh, pull back the food. I think you have that. You have that, yes. You burn, burn your mine camp. That's, that's smart of him, by the way, just to, like, cut you off with the, with the golden age. But now I would rebuild it. So now I definitely rebuild this mining camp and then two houses get the golden age ASAP. Yeah. Horseman is fine, but no archers. No archers. <laughs> no. Except when you when you scout his uh uh what's that called? His barrack. Before you scout his barracks, don't bring any archers. Wait, why are you going here though? Uh, because I thought he still had his men at arms over there. That was just bad uh, scouting, I think. Yeah, I would bring my horseman here and then bring my yeah. thing there. Okay, now he's here and you're like, oh shit, I built a thing here. Yeah. That golden age is like you have tech one eco for free in all of the yeah. techs. Like you have, like, that, that's so important. Especially when you go eco wing because or you, you have like discounted houses. So you literally could just stack houses and get that. Uh, okay, now you go back to this. And then... Why do you have so many on food though then? You want to make army? Sorry. 
So, mm. um, I don't know. I think maybe because I wanted to build enough horsemen to match his archers, because I thought he'd just be cranking archers, and mm -hmm. he does. He does send them up here. I'm pretty sure. Mm -hmm. We fight in the middle. Mm, that's. So I'll probably use something that I said like previous in previous sections as well. I'll just do one thing at a time, or like build up one thing at a time. So what do I mean by that? Uh, if you want to like build military, then keep your villages building military first. Right. Yeah. yeah not this TC yet because you're gonna you're gonna stack the resources here. You're definitely gonna stack the stone. You don't have like enough. Uh, so I would say if you already like put down military and and you're scared of him pushing you, I would macro so that I could have my TC and then this two thing build constantly before I go into stone. So literally, so literally, I would have like this is I think it's six or eight. I think it's eight on food, and then this one is two on food if I remember correctly. I think it's 2 or 3, so that's 10 plus 4. I would have 14 on food, and then that's 4... I think it's... no, 4, 5. No, that's a lot on wood. I think that's 7... I forgot the numbers. Ah, oh, no, not 7. I think it's 4 on food. 4 on wood. You're me on the food. Yeah, because he's, like, that's literally here. I was here. like, yeah, I just felt stupid for that, but... Uh, mm -hmm. I clean... I clean this part up. Where's your horseman? Ah, oh, here, here, okay. I was reading his gold, but... Mm -hmm. So, okay, got... What I mean by that is that I have, like, enough of food, enough on food, enough on wood, yeah. before I go on to stone. That's all I mean. And then I could, like, slowly add on to the stone. I could, like, just slowly rallying. And then eventually I have my second TC because even because it's cheaper. Now you're just like stacking 600 stone for nothing. Those could be like food and and wood. That that could be army. Right. If right. That, if that's gold, that could be tech. Yeah. Well, that's definitely where I messed up. Was just not continuing to build army because I could have outstacked him because he was behind. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He went early. Uh, I think early that's a second TC play from him, right? No, I don't think so. Is it? Or is like. With his army? Oh no. Oh, he's actually like... Okay. Yeah, and but then the... Why? Then why do you have so few army? Like, why? That's I think sweet. he just got set behind, but that's what I was wondering. And that's why I said I think I could have won if I just would have kept pushing. Yeah, yeah, just... Yeah, if you made army, yeah. So weird. Maybe he's like not used to English. I don't know. <laughs> it's actually so weird. Okay, now this army could... Have... Yeah. Oh, you are, yeah, because of your stone, yeah. Because of your stone. And I think I just have way too many people on food right now. Yep. And I just... Now it's, yeah. You wanna... You wanna get some gold for fresh food. Oh, you have fresh food though. And you want textiles because you're getting pressured. Yeah. You definitely want textiles. This yeah yeah this TC is very good actually because you could like you could actually start mining gold and he had to like try and walk around it or he had to like ram it but he had the army to ram it now it's yeah. like eh. what do you think about production buildings like how many more production buildings do you add mm, I would do it like when so I would macro according to like my, my production buildings. If I if I have more, if I'm queuing like probably two more here, then I'll add. If I pro I'm queuing like two more, like if I have three queuing here, yeah, and I I'm producing more, then I'll add a production building. That's my rule of thumb. Yeah, he's just he's just gonna like kill you here. And I don't think you have upgrades, right? He has full upgrades, yeah. So yeah, it's just so so like in all three games, it's just persistently that that main idea: stick to your strat yeah. and uh, pick one thing at a time to to like fulfill it. I would say 
if you if you put down military building, make sure that uh, uh, if it at least for me, the the easiest way to like macro to like macro properly is to if I put down military building, I'll make sure that military building it's continuously producing. I'll macro to make sure that happens. Uh, I I rarely like stop production. I'm rarely like stop military building if I have a production building just to make sure that I have the army to like fight when I have the chance. Uh, so if I, in, in, in this scenario, if I put down a stable, I'll make sure I have like enough food, 12 food, 12 on food, and then like someone would just to make sure my stable is keep on push, keep on pushing out army. And then thinking of like stone. Or wood. Now it's just over, yeah. And then, with with that out of the way, so so at first you're gonna like, uh, if you learn this style, at first you'll be like, pro sometimes you'll produce like too much army, but that's okay. And then you'll learn how to adjust, all right, how much army I actually need to defend. That is actually, I would say, a conquer level thing. Yeah. Like how much army do I actually need to invest to defend this? This is actually a very high level concept. I think some, I think like maybe your friends have told you, okay, you don't actually need army here. You could like stop producing and get like faster result. But I would say that is actually harder to play than if you put down military building, just let it like constantly produce units. It is way yeah. easier to do this, to do it this way. And it's harder to lose games if you like keep on producing units from your military building. Yeah, definitely. That's definitely my problem is uh, just <laughs> knowing how many units to build. But I think I also I just need to scout more. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm so I never have an idea. That that is like two like like uh, intertwined ideas. If you scout more, if, if you scout and you you know that the exact number, that exact amount of units he has, then you could make the exact number of units to to like counter that but this is aoe is a game of like incomplete information you cannot you don't have like uh the skynet you don't you don't know how many units he exactly have if you don't have the whole map so with yes with excellent scout you could actually know the exact amount of your opponents but it rarely goes in that way. So I would say the easier way to play is that if you put down military building, just keep making units and then use them to like do something. Maybe harassment, maybe kill something. Yeah. Uh, yeah, just keep making units. And then eventually when you go into the, like le higher levels, you know, okay, in some situations i actually don't need to make that many units and and you could adjust from that i would say this is an easier way to learn than just kind of pick a number okay i want five archers i want five horsemen that doesn't work yeah yeah so yeah cool probably that's all i could say today is there any more questions no that's it that was super helpful okay cool i'm, I'm glad to hear that that's super helpful right, that's what i wanted to do anyway so yeah Thank you very much for today and hope you can enjoy the game.